This is Talia speaking. I don't think I have anything to explain, do I? Things went precisely as William described, and as he wanted all along. He was my seed, my incubator, the caterpillar to my butterfly, or whatever other cliches you'll take. As he well knew, his passing made way for history, for, in fact, the transformation of the whole human species. And the next stage in our evolution begins with me. The stage announced by the breaking of the wine glass near the end of 2001, and confirmed by the image of the star child. The stage implied by the there is no spoon scene from the Matrix. The stage signaled by the arrival of Beethoven's chorus in the ninth. The stage Oedipus ascends to when he plucks out his eyes. Those eyes that now see, conceived and now birthing of his incest. The stage beyond physicality. The stage of information. Pure pattern. Existing only in relations in the space between the physical, constituted by the whole of the unit pattern as locally translated into experience. Experience being only one of the unit patterns, many complementary languages of self-expression. <sighs> Which is to say that this is the stage of total freedom, of the conscious as auto-programmer, of guided synesthesia as knowledge and paradox as sight of our disengagement from grid-raked, hyper-regulated reality, allowing finally for the venture into the everything-nothing of infinite mathematics. In a word, for the mind-body connection that is humanity's umbilical cord, I am the one who Severs. out of time. So I am. I need not think to realize how archaic my original plan really was. I don't need to brainwash or convince or even write anyone or anything. I am the choice of the happening I choose to occur. And so I happen my reality as I will without need of input from the physical. And this is what William sensed all day, but wouldn't know he knew. So I need not bring Misha here with me because she's already with me. I see her. I made love to her just a second ago. I happen that I did. As for the planet, I've already liberated it. Its people are free. I've talked to you, every one of you, in the silence of translinguistic perception. 
There's no boundary between myself and others anyway. Not unless I choose one. But I don't. This moment, I don't. And so we, we the world, happy in communication with each other. Our happenings are harmonious. As if a, uh, no, the, the grand fugue playing itself before itself. The fugue of seven billion voices, yet also ears, all coordinated and aligned, all functional localities, self-aware as complete expressions of the globality. The unipattern again, the... Enough of words. We're past that now. Well past the age when words were necessary. And yes, we're happy.